Um, welcome to Couch Conversations with Bulani. Um, I have about seven questions um, that I'll be answering with regards to my marriage, my partner and I. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy them and you find them interesting. So without um, any waste of time, let's get straight into it. The first question says, tell us about your partner. My partner is my best friend. He is my praying buddy and he is my inspiration. He is Kalsa and he's originally from the Eastern Cape. He is a born again and a lover of Christ. He loves my food so much, but I only cook for him. I don't cook for other people. He thinks I'm a great cook. He supports um, Chelsea and he and locally he supports um, Kaiser Chips and he also follows cricket and Formula One. The second question says, what's your favorite memory from when you were dating? Um, this has to be, you know, those um, thoughtful gifts that um, he would um, give to me every now and then. Like, basically everything that um, he did for me that was out of his goodness of his heart, or out of um, the goodness of his heart, that is really what's um, been my memory since um, we were dating. Doing things out of love um um for me and then um, what was your favorite memory from your wedding day and why this is not the third question well this has to be when we're being addressed um by the elders with regards to how to carry ourselves as um newlyweds so the reason why this is um my favorite memory is because um almost everyone kept on emphasizing um on the importance of um the concept of oneness you know they encouraged us to do things as 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 one and don't um operate as um single entities so yeah that is what was um important for me and the the the, the most um, important lesson that i took out of um the whole address and then the fourth question was i mean is what was the moment you knew you were in love this um, has to be um, this one time when he came through for me. Um, Rez was closing and schools were also closing. We we're going, um, we we're supposed to go home um, for school holidays. And I was going to receive um, my allowance from home two days after Rez um, had closed down. So he said to me then no you don't have to worry because i had to to go to the res manager and um ask him if i can't ext um, extend my stay and um, my man then said to me that no it's fine i'll cover your travel costs and um i'm also going to johannesburg so we're gonna be enjoying um the long trip from port elizabeth all the way to Joburg, and so yeah you don't have to go there so for me, that's um, the moment that I realized that actually this um, guy cares about me and I don't think someone can care about you and not love you. So that's the moment that I knew I was in love because I could see that he is also in love with me. It was so beautiful. Like I, I can't explain the feeling because I mean, love is beautiful when it's reciprocated. Like, I, I can't explain the feeling, but it's the most beautiful feeling ever.
and then the fifth question says what's um one positive change that your marriage has had on you um i can say well this um are the lessons that i have learned so far um with regards to relationships in general not just marriage you know um is that i need to forgive endlessly i realize that i have always kept my forgiveness towards people so i needed to uncap that and actually now forgive people endlessly and then the other one is to love without boundaries those are the two most important things that um my marriage has um sort of like has had an impact on me so far like um, i'm loving without expecting anything in return um, i'm loving when there's nothing to love you know the, the way that um christ loves us um, i'm learning to love people the way christ um loves us The sixth question says, what characteristics makes a great partner? Number one, my partner needs to be God-fearing and he needs to display um, um, great leadership skills. Number two is faithfulness. This means that he doesn't really need to, to see me to be able to trust me. And it's also the other way around that I don't need to be with him for me to be able to trust him. And this actually reminds me of um, a verse in Proverbs 31. I'll quickly read it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let me it's proverbs 31 chapter 10 chapter 11 um to 12 it says that her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life she brings him good not harm all the days of her life so yeah that's 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 just all about um trusting being being a good wife and trusting your husband in in in, in their absence and then um, number three will have to be diligence. My, my partner or my husband um, needs to be working very hard um, to build a better and a brighter future for our children in the next lifetime. Um, number four is kindness, gentleness, and peacefulness. Um, I do not like violence. I, I I hate quarrels and you know just negative vibes and jay around me. I I don't like them. I I prefer peace. It's it's not always um guaranteed that you know you won't have arguments and stuff, but I I prefer us to deal with our things in 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 kindness and always peaceful. I don't like shouting and all those kind of things. So yeah man kindness gentleness and peacefulness i think they are self-explanatory and then number five has to be affection so this one shame my husband just needs to give me the affection that i deserve as his wife for as long as i am alive it's it's non-negotiable and then So the last question says, what's your interpretation of the Bible verse, wives submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord? That is Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23. So for me, this means that we should have um, reverential fear towards our husbands. We must um, yield ourselves to them and we must submit under um, their leadership. And I just want to say that with reverential fear, it doesn't mean that um, you have to be scared of your husband, but you need to revere him. You know, the, the, the respect that you must give to him um, should be the very same respect that you give to God. For example, we don't go around um, bad-mouthing God, um, telling people that um, 
God doesn't provide for us. God is a bad father. God this, God that, you know. So it's the very same way that we should do with our husbands. We should carry our husbands well wherever we go with us because that is what we do with God as well. We don't um, speak bad about him. We're always praising him and um, saying all the good things about him. So that is the same way that um, we need to um, respect our husbands and therefore that is my interpretation of um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse um, 23. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.